Hi, welcome. Just starting some voice exercises. And so what what we're doing today is exercise one from um, a book called Singing for the Stars by S Seth Riggs. They, um, so what I've done is I've, I've laid out exercise one in Guitar Pro so that we can hear the music accompaniment together. What we're gonna try and do is the instructions say, Place your hands on the on the side of your of your lips, just to push in enough to relieve the weight of your of your skin from your lips. And then we're going to be breathing from diaphragm and trying to expel air evenly as we go through each of the phrases. And then we're going to breathe in between the phrases. And basically what happens is the chords are going to go up and then up through an octave and then back down. And then we're going to do that over again, but going up one note, up through an octave, back down, up one note, up through an octave and back down. So if what I'm doing is middle C up to high C and then back down to middle C, that you'd actually want to join in later along or sing one octave borable one octave above uh, you may what we're listening for though is as our voice as you go as you go up through each of the pitches you'll hear your voice actually move from lower in your in your skull up into your nasal cavity and so part of this is getting you used to where does sound resonate within your physiology as you're singing different notes. So we'll try this. It feels funny. It probably will sound funny. But um, this is, and I think part of it is learning to expel the air evenly as we go across the entire phrase so that you can keep your lips moving. I think the whole point to the is to that makes it harder for you to expel air because you're fluttering your lips. And so it, it adds, uh, it's like, you know, uh, walking, carrying weights is, is that it makes you more deliberate in how you're doing the exercise than if you were just breathing. And sometimes you may find the same thing I found, which is sometimes it's hard to keep your lips fluttering. It helps a little bit if you, if you, with taking the weight off with your hands, but um, sometimes you have to push harder. The The exercise instructions were don't try not to push harder than is needed to cause your lips to, to uh, vibrate. And so I think this is a practice, practicing the practice thing where the more you do this, the better you'll get at vibrating your lips as we go through the thing. And as I say, don't forget to breathe. Now, as we go through this, if you start to get lightheaded, just stop and then, um, you know, catch your breath and then do over again from the beginning. You have the advantage of, you know, rewind and restart or just pause and catch your breath and then restart that you'll build up your endurance as you go, um, I think. And, and then at, the idea is you need to do this exercise every day or multiple times a day if if you have time okay so what's going to happen is there'll be a rest and then the each of the phrases we'll do the as we go up and down again press your fingers in as far as until your cheeks reach your teeth just to lift up on your on your skin so that it's not on your you know not a weight on your lips and then we'll be doing or whatever the the, the uh, melody phrase is that we're doing. And then we're going to go up and then all the way back down. Oh, let's let's uh, begin at the beginning. Sorry. So that was one. Up. 
lightheaded, just pause. <laughs> Try and keep your lips vibrating. <laughs> So that's, I think, one exercise is to go all the way up and all the way back down. The exercises on the CDs that came with the book only go up because there was only so much room that they had on the CDs. The other thing is you can actually start from, if you, if, if you have a keyboard, you could actually do the notes along on the keyboard as you're going, which may take your mind up, of course, or have someone else do the notes on the keyboard so you can press your, your the weight of your skin away from your lips. But what the book suggests is that you'd actually start at different notes depending on if you're a bass or a tenor or a soprano or an alto, the, uh, that you would start at different notes and then do the exercise from there so that you stay in a range that that's good for your voice. I think that I'm a baritone. And so this range worked out okay for me. It's kind of a high reach for some of the, the uh, higher notes, but what that does is let you practice and, and let your voice, you know, reach for those notes. The other thing the book notes is if you're, if you're feeling stressed reaching some of the high notes, if you'll bend over that it's hard with the mic and and doing it this way but it says if you'll bend over while you're doing the exercise that may take your mind off the stress of reaching those higher notes and and help you to just continue the exercise normally just as just as easily as with the lower notes anyway so that's exercise 1 and then going all the way through that, all the way up, all the way down, and then take a break. And then, uh, you know, so you can kind of do them in sets as if you were doing weightlifting or something else, but but you're wanting to do this every day. And then now exercise two is going to be very similar to exercise one. In exercise two, though, you also flutter your tongue while you're doing the, the lip thing. And so in exercise two, we'd use the same music over again, but you do... And the idea here is that you're you're fluttering, letting your tongue flutter up and down along with your lips. And so it makes a slightly different sound and it feels a little bit different. And I think it's even more sort of carrying more weight because you're you're mechanically doing that extra work of fluttering your tongue and your lips. I'm not I'm not sure if there's some other benefit to the exercise than that. But but uh, so that's our vocal exercise one. Thank you.